sculptor was originally gifted to the nation by Henry Moore. He wanted uh, many of his sculptures to have, to have an appropriate background and for this sculpture he thought the Houses of Parliament was an appropriate background. It's in two parts. There was a gap in between where you could see the Houses of Parliament and that has given a different view of Parliament for anyone who, who's interested to see it. It's been a backdrop in hundreds of interviews of politicians on this very site uh, and uh, for all sorts of reasons it's, uh, it's a very important piece now for us and we are delighted and very happy to have it in the collection. This is wonderful isn't it, the view and the, the, view, the, 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 the view in between is fantastic. Yeah, I mean a, the, the sculpture is about that, the space between two forms. Yeah. A patina is a, a, a chemical alteration of the surface which we can create colour from. And once that's done, you can seal it, either indicate using a lacquer, which was done before, or in our case now, we're going to seal it with a wax. The patination process is a, a chemical process that all sculptures go through um, after they've been cast in the foundry, and you apply chemicals to the surface, and you can create a whole range of colours, from blacks to greens to blues to whites. In the case of, of more sculptures, they have a very pale patina with some darker areas and that is done usually using heat um, and cold patina applications. The time it takes is very difficult to judge and that's why we had to allow in this project an adequate time to create this surface. The one thing that more sculptures, particularly these ones that were taken from bones and fossils and pieces of chalk, are uh, that he wanted to get that mixture of texture from smooth surfaces to rougher, less reflective surfaces. And he did that not only by working the surface to give that, but also he then patinaed and coloured the surfaces so they, that accentuated the difference. What I'm doing at the moment is applying a very weak solution of ferric nitrate, which when the bronze is heated, gives these very subtle burnt sienna colours to the surface. It's with a patina like this that's so thin, you really need to apply a little bit at a time. And when I've finished, this yellow colour will have a subtle orange tinge to it, which just gives a little bit more warmth to the, uh, to the surface of the bronze. The good thing about it as well is it will hide some of these marks in the surface from when the piece was cast. What we're aiming to achieve uh, when we complete the job is to get life back into the sculpture. More sculptures, because they're a mixture of this tooled surface and the, the smoother surfaces, it's all to do with the play of light. And so that is what we need to achieve when we finish. And I'm sure now we, we, will, we will get there, but at the end of next week, it'll be very good, I think. Wonderful to see it because it was looking very sad. Some of the patination had gone, there, were, there was graffiti on it. It looked very sad and sorry for itself. And the team has been tremendous and we've seen a huge difference already. And we're beginning to see what, it, what the vision that Henry Moore had for this site and for his sculpture.